for many companies, one of the most important realizations of the last few years has been that digital transformation not only opens up many opportunities for them, but it's as well unstoppable. COVID-19 pandemic has an additional impact on our personal and professional lives in many ways. And there's one thing made absolutely clear. We will continue to experience accelerated digitalization of the economy and society in the future. In order to remain competitive, it is absolutely important to invent new business models, to find innovative solutions and create a unique customer experience and to understand the needs of users and customers in order to serve them as precisely as possible. Welcome to the ETIM Digital Day 2022. My name is Christian Thiel and I'm the product manager of the ETIM Digital Services. And I'm really glad to be here together with you. Today, I will show you plenty of interesting facts and I will give you an introduction into digitalization into this mega trend. I will continue then and move on with those topics which we are sure that they are the most important topics in the field of industrial building kit systems. And then we will move on to the three topics which we think are essential to be successful now and in the future. And of course, I will show you all of the interesting things which we have invented over the last year in our field of digital services. So when we've presented or created this presentation, we have asked us four central questions. How can digital technology, how can digital developments can help us? How can we use them? What does digitalization mean for collaboration and how can it help us to make our life and our work easier? So in the end, there are three main topics which we are convinced are the most relevant for us. It's e-commerce, it's e-learning, and it's digital engineering. And these three topics we will cover about this online event today. So let's start with the mega trend of digitalization. Digitalization, for a long time, this has been a buzzword. But it's no longer a buzzword. It's not even a vision right now. If you're thinking at your private homes, your smart home can communicate with your doorbell. You can be on the other side of the planet and you can open the door with your smartphone. In industry, digitalization is everywhere. And it's not only the cobot or the automation solution or everything round about industry 4.0. No, it can be found at the three main topics which I mentioned earlier. Just think about your daily life. And now let's have a closer look on digitalization. How can we, how does it fit in the big picture? Digitalization is classified by science at the fifth weight of Kondratiev. And that's close to the industrial revolution. So the first thing has been clothing and mass transportation. There's mass consumption, the steam way and the railroad. And the fifth wave has been digitalization. We can already see the sixth wave, which is biotech. And only if we understand digitalization, not only as a trend, but as something which really changes our society and our lives, then we can understand the impact of it for everything. So what does that mean in detail if we look at this? My favorite question when we're talking about digitalization comes from George Westerman. And he said, when digital transformation is done right, it's like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. But when it's done wrong, all you have is a really fast caterpillar. So what distinguishes the digital butterfly from the tuned caterpillar? Let's have a look at a study made by the Handelsblatt from 2019, so before COVID. 
This study has been taken among 1,000 international C-level execu executives. And the answers on this survey has been really sobering findings. And that's really tough. So 58% of all of the managers do not know how to approach digitalization. And one third of them has said that they've spent about 500,000 euros or even more into digitalization. At the same time, 87%, most of them, said they are not deriving priorities from internal processes from the beginning. And 63%, so even more than a half of them, define KPIs for transformation without knowing the issues and the problems. While 65% of them would feel better and more confident if they would review the processes. Which leads us to the last point. 56% of them think their previous efforts in digitalization has been a waste. That's wild, absolutely wild. Do you know what this sounds for me too? We're, complete, we're making, we're completely lost, but we're making very good progress. It's from Tom DeMarco, a software developer, and it's absolutely right today. It's wild, really wild. So, what do we learn from this? So, first of all, find topics, areas, or fields which are really worth to take care in digitalization. So, understand your issues, your needs, and what to save. Saving faxes as a PDF file, that's not good digitalization. And writing paper protocols in Word, yes, it has to do something with PCs, but that's to stay with the image, it's only the tuned caterpillar. And it's as well not about having the coolest digital helper, which is possible available, okay, maybe sometimes. But it's really all about creating solutions which really solve issues and problems. In order to become the digital butterfly, real change is necessary, and therefore we have to focus not on putting bad processes into digitalization, because then the only thing which we will get is a bad digital process. But it's starting to think about real issues. And ETEM has started with digitalization already ages ago. When I started at ETEM around the year 2000, there's already been some designing software, there at this time for AutoCAD, and some software to order and find product information. But this experience, as well over the last couple of years, has led to a couple of conclusions. Digital solutions must integrate seamlessly into daily work. It may, must make work easier and more efficiently. It must allow people to cut down manual repetitive work and to create value-added processes, and it must create a win-win situation for every party involved. And this leads us to our digital platform. We have started to combine and to work on this platform already a couple of years ago because we understood that we need to focus on your needs as our customers. And these three main topics of e-commerce, e-learning, and digital engineering are the main things, and we are pretty much sure that these three things on our platform in combination provide real benefits and create a win-win situation for all of the parties involved. Okay, let's get into it. Did you know that according to Statista, in 2021, the B2B online e-commerce turnover has been 1.3 trillion euro? It's really impressive. The other figure on the other hand side, did you know that on the other hand side, only 14% of the medium-sized companies are involved into e-commerce? That means 86% are wasting potential from my point of view. Of course, maybe there are some reasons for some of them, but only 14%, that's not so much. So, we at ETEM, we have started our development 
and inventing an online catalog system which allows online ordering or at least inquiring already 20 years ago. And we have improved ever since. And one of the most important things which we have seen has been user experience and user friendliness. Because we are all spoiled by B2C online shops. A couple of years ago, I remember I talked to some guy from a software company and he told me, yeah, you know, B2B, those are professionals. They don't need such nice, colorful user interfaces where they can click, they can use their keyboard and must not be nice. That's absolutely not our philosophy. We think that everyone deserves a nice user interface and a really good user experience. And therefore, we have invested and we're still investing into our online shop. And that's what we've done over the last years. It's important to have all of the information on the tip of your mouse cursor. And it's not only that, it's important that you can find the information you are looking for, the products which you are looking for, because it's not that you're looking for a product, you're looking for a solution for a challenge. And here you've got a different ways to approach that. You can use the hierarchy to click through. So either select lean production, if you're looking for something like this at your shop floor, or you're looking for a workbench, then maybe the workbench system hierarchy is the right thing for you, the right category. Or you're looking at the category, which is a very fast way to click through. As well, not only searching, but as well finding product is really important. And our search feature allows it to you that you can enter either the product name, the product number, or as well a synonym. So if it's only close to the word which you're looking for. And if you found the right product, you can get lots and lots of information. You can get technical data. You can get technical data sheets. You're looking for a profile and you're thinking, ah, is this the right profile? Then you can use our bending stress calculator. You're only entering the length of the profile, the force which goes on top, and the bending stress calculator will tell you if it's fine or if it's bending too much a great thing and it saves a lot of time and makes sure that you're selecting the right product. You're on CAD designer, of course, you can download CAD data in various formats. So either neutral formats, SAT, STEP, IGES, Parasolid, or you can use direct insertion drivers where you only need to do one click and a couple of seconds later, you have the CAD model right at the tip of your mouse, which saves lots of time. And after finding the right products, you can enter a project name before putting it into the shopping cart. And in the shopping cart, you can use different projects because in the design of shop floor equipment, it's very common that you're not only working on one FIFO rack or one shelf or one workbench, but that you're working on several projects at the same time. And maybe you would like to have your standard product for filling up your stock on your impo most important product as well. And that's what our online catalog gives to you. And in the end, if you're using our online catalog, you can click on send an inquiry, and now we're coming back to the win-win situation. Because you have saved time because you're finding the right products in our online catalog. If you're using the inquiry feature, we receive an inquiry by our system, which can be processed mainly automatically. So we do not need to put manual efforts in your inquiry, which leads to the result that it's faster to you and for you, that you can get the products you're looking for faster or your quote, and that we have less effort, which saves money for us, which saves money and time for you. And getting products into the system is another big challenge. So just imagine you're a cat designer or a buyer, then you will probably use the following system because this system keeps global economy running. And this is kind of a yeah, caterpillar digitalization product because what is it? It's Microsoft Excel. And we said, hmm, if we are thinking about Microsoft Excel and all of these formats, which are created by that, what does this 
leave this to for us. We said we would like to find an easier way to make it possible that you could use Excel, which could come from someone who is just using it because it's easier for him to fill out an Excel file, or you're in CAD designer where the Excel file comes from your CAD system and you're exporting in Excel or text file. And we said, okay, that's live reality. So let's find a solution for that. And that's our BOM importer. So an import system for bill of materials. Just save the bill of material as a text file. Go to our website, click on the user icon on the top, select importer, give us some information about the text format, and then we only need four more information from you. It's the amount of the product, it's the product number, length, and width. And with this information, our tool will analyze your bill of material. It will as well point out if there are some things not working properly. So let's say you're importing a profile but you're not entering a length, then it will ask you to correct this issue. Then you're clicking on finish and it's already in your shopping cart. And if it's there, you already have again the same benefits which you have had before with the online shop as well. So all of the nice digital process chain which gains benefits for you and for us as well, which makes our all of our lives more efficiently. Okay, another topic. Let's think about your personal life. Think about something which you don't know about, maybe so much into detail. Some new thing you, which you would like to learn. Either you need to tie your tie, or you would like to build something in your garden. How to pack your backpack, or how to um, repair some technical stuff. I'm pretty sure most of you have already used this e-learning system, even if it's not called an e-learning system. It's YouTube. Nearly everyone knows YouTube, but no one calls it an e-learning system. But it has exactly these benefits because we can go there, we can look for a training or an information. If you haven't catched something during the trainer said it, we can go back and repeat it easily and you will have this information 24 seven without paying a trainer or having him on site. Education is as well pretty much important. The United Nations has set up goals for 2030, 17 goals. Goal number four is highly qualified education. And of course, ETEM cannot solve this issue, but it only shows the importance of education and training. And the next thing, I'm pretty much sure every one of you knows about this in your company because that's a global phenomenon. And that's skill shortage. Skill shortage has doubled over the last decade. And I'm sure every one of you knows someone who is missing at some point and who has not got the necessary information. Continuing, not talking only about skill shortage, but talking about the change COVID has had on e-learning. A lot of companies has invested in e-learning during the pandemic, 91.2%. At the same time, 40% of them has cut investment into physical trainings. And 55.1% of these companies plan to extend their invest into e-learning. If you ask me, it's a little bit late, but better late than never. We as ETEM, we have understood that having trainings, e-learnings, especially internationally, is very important. So we started to invest in e-learnings already five years ago with our ETEM Academy. And the ETEM Academy is an online platform which offers a lot of benefits to you as our e users and as well to our staff as well. It offers you benefits in a globalized world. It's independent of time and place. It's worldwide available. So 24 seven, always when you need an information. It can be used in 
a short time because the trainings are pretty much compact. It's easy to use. You do not need to learn something. It's comprehensive knowledge transfer with a consistently high quality. Because just think about the last thing, simple, efficient, and multilingual build. Where do you find during times of a skills shortage a trainer which is able to provide not only lots and lots and lots of technical high quality information, but as well in seven languages like our e-learning system. And that's something which is highly impressive for each and everyone. And we are providing a couple of different things in our academy. Let's start with our virtual factory. Especially the world of industrial building kit systems, if you have contact with it for the first time, it can be a little bit overwhelming. We are talking about four and a half thousand different products. And our virtual factory gives you a smooth entry into this world. It's online, it's 3D, it's easy to navigate just by clicking with your mouse. And it shows you a couple of applications which gives you an idea what you could, which challenges you could solve which, with our product and our building kit systems. And if you are interested in a solution, you can click them, you will get more information. And because it's online, it's part of our platform, you can be linked to trainings, to the online shop, to our products. And when we're talking about our products, we are getting to the next point. We are offering product guides, of course, for years. And we have had, of course, printed product guides in our catalogs and as a flyer with the products. And nowadays, as well, obviously, we are offering PDF files with product guides. But as we have already learned before, PDFs are only semi-digitalization and not highly efficient. So we said we will provide compact guides in our academy. Those product guides are a really great thing. Why? They are combining text information, pictures, and videos for our products for lots of them. And they will teach you about the tools you need, the machinings you need to do, how to handle, and give you additional information about our products. So even if you're an experience and you're looking for something which you don't know, or you're looking for a product which you would like to use in your design but you're not pretty much sure about, or if you're working at the shop floor and you would like to put this product into its real use, then the product guides are the real thing. And if you're already at the shop floor and then maybe you would like to use it in the most efficient way, then it comes to the point that the devil lies in the details. So what does that mean? We have talked to our experts. Some of them are with ETEM for 20 or even 30 years. And we have asked them, what are your pro tips for using our products? And we've put these tips into our practical tips in the academy. So there you can find lots of information which give you not only information, practical information, but these are information from hands-on people to hands-on people and giving you the tips which make your life smoother and easier and faster. Faster is as well a good thing when we are thinking about more complex topics. And we are listening very much into detail to our customers. And over the last two or three years, we have held lots of webinars with very interesting topics. And we've said, hmm, when there are webinars, why should we only have the webinar? We can put it into our academy so that someone who's interested about, let's say, material flow planning or about how can I get rid of cardboard engineering, we can show them a webinar and we can lead them into our academy. And there you can see how all of this works. Or you're looking for how to get started with lean production or get some figures. There are webinars and videos on demand for this as well. So if you're looking for a topic, just let's say as a starter, to give an idea, could this be interesting for me? 
then the webinars are exactly what you're looking for just to get used to it. And we've got great feedback from a lot of users who started after seeing a couple of these webinars to getting into detail with it. And last but not least, there's of course the highest quality content which you can find in our academy. At a lot of other places, you have to pay for trainings like these. These are all online trainings. These are practical training courses for the duration of, let's say, 25 to 60 minutes, which give you in detail information about a lot of topics. So you would like to get started with Industry 4.0? You can find it there. You are looking for really details for lean production. You would like to learn what is Kaizen, what are Mudas? You can find it there. Or maybe you are the guy at your company who is responsible for ESD. Then it's probably your job to go to your colleagues and tell them, hey guys, that's ESD and that's the reason why it's important and that's how it's created and blah, de blah, de blah. And the ETIM Academy gives you all of this information. Just send your colleagues into the Academy and the Academy will teach them in a 30 minute training the most important basics about ESD. So you can save time 24 seven in seven languages and get all of this information always in the same highest quality. So even if you get new people in your business, in your company, and you're looking for that, we're talking about sk skill shortage like we've heard earlier, then that's the way to get there. And if you want to make sure that the people are really experts and that they know what to do with the ETEM products, that's the last point in our academy. We've seen that a lot of people are looking for a safe way to become an expert in a specific field. And that's the reason why we've created different learning paths. And we created these learning paths in the area of certification in the academy. So what do you do? You click on certification, then you move on and say, I would like to become an expert in lean production or our MB building kit system. We give you all of the trainings which you need to become this expert. You conclude and finish all of this trainings. And in the end, you can make a test if you want to that makes sure that you've understood everything right. And we will provide a certificate for you. Or maybe you're a trainer at your company and you would like to make sure that your apprentices, that they really know about building kit systems and the basics, send them into the academy. We will train them for you. They will get the certificate. And the certificate makes sure that they really learned that what they should have learned before. And this in the combination with all of the combin information from the online shop is already enough. The last thing is digital engineering. And that's a topic which really comes from the depth of my heart. As I said earlier, I started at ETEM around the year of 2000. And I started as a software engineer for CAT systems. And ever since that, I was in the field of engineering digitalization. So I was allowed to introduce 3D CAT to ETEM. But there was the time where we discussed CAD and possible improvements. And we saw hmm, a CAD system is even better by than doing drawings by hand. But it's more like the caterpillar digitalization. So what could a solution look like, which is more like the digital butterfly? So we started to set up a team and to invent the ETIM engineering tool on our own. And that's something that we are absolutely proud of. The ETIM engineering tool is an online software developed on our own, which is absolutely license cost free. You can start it with every online device and it allows to you to import products by drag and drop into your design. It's a rule based system. So we make sure that all of the fasteners, all of the drillings, all of the spare parts are included. Of course, the system takes care of the bill of material. It's easy to change, so you would like to change the dimension. You only have to click on the arrows at the end. 
or you would like to change a product variant, just choose the product configuration dialog and you're done. And we're taking care of the most annoying part of engineering, the documentation. So our documentation takes care about a bill of material, a tree table view, machining drawings for all of the profiles and other products. It gives you an exploded view and a step-by-step -step assembly instruction, which you can use in the shop floor to build up the building kit which we would deliver to you. Of course, you can as well export CAD data if you need it for a different environment or some visualization. And last but not least, there's a really great 3D animated assembly instruction which helps you to get into this product just into your mind to start with all of this. And the combination of all of these things, the ETEM engineering tool can be combined with all of the other things. So let's wrap up what we heard in the last minutes. We heard as well that we were thinking about listening to our customers. And listening to our customers means that we were thinking about and listening to you and you've told us, hey, we really like your engineering tool. And we are using it really pretty much. But it's a little pain when we are having a lot of products to reuse them. So we said, okay, we will find a solution for that. And the solution has been our new project management system. This new system is an application which works standalone, which will be included into our tool soon, which, which will give you the ability to use your browser search to find the right product, will give you nicer product information, and will allow it to you to put it into the shopping cart, download CAD data or documentation, or open it in the engineering tool or our workbench configurator so that you can reuse your software and your product so that you can adapt it to a new thing and use it as a template. And um, wait a minute, reuse products, use it as a template? That has been one of the major customer wishes as well. Lots of customers has told us that they said, hey, Ethan, I can't believe that I need to start some basic designs again and again. Can't believe that I'm the first one in history who would like to create a shelf, a workbench, or maybe even a FIFO rack. Wouldn't there be something easier to do so? Or there are new users who say, you know, I tried your engineering tool and it's really nice, but um, starting it is a little bit daunting. So what could we do about this? We said, okay, let's just start with something new. And this new thing is our application gallery. And the application gallery is implemented in our website and it allows it to you just that you're going to the website, you're clicking on online tools, applications. You can see exactly by a flag, that's an online tool example. There you can say either, yeah, that's what I'm looking for, but Ethan, please support me or click on edit in our online tools. And from there, you're back in the engineering tool. And that means you can easily adjust. You can delete a product, you can add a product, you can change the dimension, you can change the type of a product and adjust the template right to your needs. And that means that you can save double the amount of time because you do not need to start from scratch. You can put it into the shopping cart and the benefit of using the engineering tool is the high quality data coming from the engineering tool. Because if you are sending us an inquiry coming from the engineering tool, we have a high quality data. And that means that we can usually put your inquiry after the order within three to five days into shipping. Just think about what that means in today's time with the availability of products, which if you can get a building kit for a solution within three to five days. That's awesome. And because of the assembly instructions, it's even easier for you to, reuse, to use it and to assemble it. Okay, let's wrap this up. In the last few minutes, we've heard about the impact of e-commerce. And we have learned about the benefits 
of online learning and e-learnings. We have seen the benefits of digital engineering. And we've talked about digital butterflies and listening to customer needs. But then there's one thing which I have been asked for, for from my customers and users for nearly all of the time during the existence of the engineering tool. And just, um, yeah, like Steve Jobs said, I've got one more thing. And this thing is panel elements. And it's not only available in the digital world, but as well in the real world. Let's see what we've got here. And panel elements has been a challenge for us, yes, but I think we found a great solution because panel elements in engineering do bring a couple of challenges which we need to consider. Panel elements mean we need the right dimension. With tabletops, that's easy, especially with the tabletop fasteners, which will be only screwed into the tabletop. But talking about multi-block, that's tougher. Why is it tougher? Because how do you plan and design with panel elements before panels in the engineering tool, obviously. You would go into your CAD system and then you would consider, okay, that's the space I need to cover. And then you would maybe know, ah, I need a gap around so that it fits in smoothly. So you already need to calculate the size. Then we are talking about the multi-blocks. That means you need a drilling, you need a screw, you need the position of the multi-block. In a CAD system, you would usually use a pattern, things like this. This can be done, absolutely. But then if you want to change something, some things start from scratch again and again, and it takes a lot of time. And today, I'm really proud to show you how we have solved this issue in our engineering tool. And that's what it looks like. We are talking about 53 panel elements and 26 different tabletops in the engineering tool. Together with our tabletops and panels, which is polycarbonate, plastic, acrylic, glass, we're offering four different kinds of fasteners. Multi-blocks in plastic and in zinc for snapping in, for clamping, for screwing. We are offering tabletop fastening sets for our MB system and for our lean production system. And we are offering panel fasteners and tempo panel insertion inserts for lean production. And this in the engineering tool has the benefit that we do know our products. So we can use the technology which we have already invented and move on with it. And that's what we can see in the follow up. Just imagine you have got only a frame you would click on preferred fastener, you select your panel fastener, you drag and drop it into the frame and it automatically snaps in. That's awesome. You only need to focus on the product which you would like to use, which is basically the, the kind of fastening. And you do not need to know about all of the details. And then if we are talking about documentation, this is done automatically, including the bill of material and the machining drawings and production information for us so that we can provide it fast. Placing a tabletop on a shelf, that's easy. You can place it and there's a magnetic snap so that you can move the panel to the right size exactly like you want it. Or you're using predefined fasteners, just drag and drop in and then you've got the, your auto snap again, which makes it really fast. Using different fasteners in the same design that's easy. Just go to the preferred fastener, say multi-block with zinc for a higher load, put it in. Go again to the preferred fastening technology, choose a different fastener, import it via drag and drop, and it's automatically covered. And even if you would say, yeah, but what happens if I don't click at the right point, then you're even still way faster than using a different system. Because now you're in an environment which makes sure that everything fits and works right. 
which takes care about the bill of material and the documentation. And to combine this with the basic engineering tool benefits, like the fast ordering process, like cutting off the costs for a um, design engineer maybe, and to improve the speed, that's awesome. And believe me or not, I do not lose my words so often, but what my colleagues have created here at this point is absolutely amazing. Okay, let's come to the end of today. We've seen a lot of things. We've talked about tuned caterpillars and digital butterflies. We've learned about benefits and how to use them. And we have talked about efficiency and the three major points. But when we started, I've asked you four questions. And these questions has been how digital technology can help us, how we can use it, how does it, what does it mean for collaboration, and how can it make our life easier? Obviously, if we are talking about this, there's not one answer, and maybe as well the answers which we have are not completely complete. But we have three different points which we do see. The first thing is, first and foremost, complete, consistently digital processes, because they allow it to you to start digital, to end digital, and to save time. Because every time when you leave the digital area and go back to the analog area, then you have to redo some work. And it's not that easy. So it's tough for you to do so. And if you stay digital, then you can find all of the information right from the beginning, put it into your project. You can get all of the information within your project for one product and project as well. You can put the project into the shopping cart. You can use the inquiry mode to get a pretty quick quote. And if you're ordering it, you will get it delivered in a pretty short time, depending on the kind of the product. And this saves lots of time, lots of money. The second thing is e-learning and knowledge transfer. Very often in today's time, people would switch and change companies. So it's important to keep all of them on the same knowledge level. And e-learning can make sure that this stays and that those people who stay in the company can even improve in their knowledge. Or if they say, yeah, you know, I've learned this sometimes, but I would like to hear it again. No worries, you can do so in a digital way every time, whenever you want in your language. And last but not least, digital engineering. There's so much time wasted in engineering using CAD systems and clicking manually for a lot of things. And to save this time, even saving the time for the documentation, we've seen the auto snap with panel elements, which is incredible what time is wasted by doing this manually and the amount of errors which could occur if you do it manually. Combine all of these three things together, you have a highly individual or highly standardized process better, which saves lots of time for you and makes it more efficient for you. Please let me end with a more personal note. As a product manager, I have the pleasure and the honor to stand here in front of you very often. And probably most of you will know my face and my presentations for a couple of years now. But I could not do this without the team in the background. In the background, we have over 35 developers who are working every day really hard to put your needs and your pains into highly efficiently solutions to find a way for you to improve and to save time and money. And we are doing this because your ideas are worth it. Thank you very much.